she sees she sees joy it's joy <laughs> you're famous now Oh, she sees, she sees joy. It's joy. <laughs> You're famous now. Say hi. Yeah, we're she actually, I take pictures of other people, yes. Oh. Go on the back side of her so you're oh, alive. Here we go. We're good. Here, let's get back on there. Let me get my camera. Well, see, we get to take a picture of the doggy. Here, take it right here. Oh, wait, somebody's going sorry, out of your head. Sorry about that. You don't that. want that. There you go. And then picture, uh, <laughs> got an Instagram. Awesome. Her. There's her business Yay, card. this is awesome. Look at that. <laughs> we'll get her more followers. <laughs> try and try and. But we just care about the individual. We don't count our followers. Ah, there you it's go. It's all about this moment right here. Share. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, back to the desk. <laughs> Little look at that little desk. This is just oh, look at that. That if I was home, we'd be buying that because that is the sweetest thing ever. We are not home, though. But we are not home, so let's. And it's a leather. It's a little leather. In, oh, that is really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, like and it's got the little drawers. Oh no, they don't open. They're fake drawers, unless it opens from this side. Do they open on this side? Ah, this side opens. You've got... You know what? It's not... It's it's even pre-dovetail, it looks like. Oh, no, there's dovetail. There's very... This is how you age furniture, too, is the type of the dovetail, not just that it's dovetail, but the actual type of the dovetail, you can look and see who did that, what era, when did they come up with that technique. You can also feel in the drawers if it's smooth, if it's hand-planed, if it's machine planed, this is a neat. Do you think it's as old as it looks? I mean, it's old, but I don't think it's as old as it looks. I think it's made as like a reproduction of an old one, but it was made, you know, 100 years ago still. It's very cool. Okay, you staying here or are you coming in? Oh, old phones. Plates, we pass right by the plates. No collector's plates. There's an old singer that would just be for parts. Which are kind of neat with the glass colored bottoms. There's just certain things I'm not really even looking at because I can't get them in the suitcase. I mean, I could. I'm just not. I'm not motivated to get them into the suitcase. But cute little, I can't see what he says. He's signed. But see, he would easily fit into my suitcase. So I will ask how much he is. Because I like him. And we'll see what else. I see a table over there I'm going to show you because I sold one and I shipped it and I made a video of me shipping it. You might have seen that video of me shipping. This is a California pottery table and uh, I think I sold mine for like $150. So there's the construction of it. Mine actually had a broken tile too and it sold for $150. So this is a very desirable style. And I think I picked mine up at an auction for $10. $10. Oh, there's a cute little porcelain doll. And dolls, you wanna look on the back of the head. That's where your maker mark is going to be. It's here and also here on the body. You can see it's very faint. 
Now this isn't a super old doll, this is a reproduction, but it's probably like a 1980s reproduction. Yeah. And I think this is the only thing that I'm going to find, because I'm not, I just can't even look at the Christmas stuff. Can't do it. All right, we're gonna go find out how much our elephant is. I found one more row of stuff and this thing kind of caught my eye. I have no idea what that is all about. It almost looked like it was supposed to be a big Mickey Mouse. It's got like one ear. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, those are some nice, uh, ooh, that sun. The sun is brutal. Here we go. Oh, I can finally see. These are nice cut to clear. Bohemian glass. Nice set. They don't appear to be signed. I like those. Probably not enough to buy them. That's kind of cool, huh? Look at that. It's got the smooth contour. Little recessed. And then there's a couple different ones here. These are not Murano. They are a nice art glass though. Nice pieces. I would probably pick them up if I was home. I'm not home. I already got way too much glass to ship. So I'm going to pass on those. Let's see what these are over here. This is an interesting piece. Tollware. Nice dark colors. Ooh. Birdies. Bavaria. RC Bavaria. It's a nice piece. She's totally bored waiting for me to be done. Totally bored. And over here. What? Oh. I see this cabinet. Watch dog. There was a dog and it had a missing eye. I did not see that dog. Oh, I did see that dog when you pointed it out earlier. I love that cabinet. This is what they call tiger oak or quarter sawn oak. Look at the beadwork on this. That's a very, look at the wavy lines of the glass. That's a neat piece. Oh, my nose is starting to itch. I hate that. Ooh, this is a lid. That is a heavy piece. Okay, people are saying naughty things behind me. That's cool. Look at that bottle. I mean, the liniment one's cool, but that's that's really cool. It's uh, you just got a patent number on the bottom eight nine nine six eight cobalt blue, and he looks like he's supposed to be a poodle. I might ask how much that one is too. Let's find out. Let's find out how much that one is. Oh, I, I bought stuff from this one last time. Look at that pretty vase. I'm not getting anything big this time. I swore I was not getting anything big this time because I've got to get everything home this time. So, nothing big. She's still waiting for me over there. Look at her. Look how cute she is. I told her she could leave the cart over there and come in and shop with me, and she did not want to. So, I'm going to go find out how much these two things are and see if we end up with them. These are some composition doll parts. And sometimes you can actually still sell. Yes, just in this condition. This is pretty, this results from when it doesn't get stored correctly and you got heat and cold and heat and cold and then it causes some cracking. 
So that's what causes that. Unfortunately, kind of sad. Okay, I'm gonna go see how much these pieces are and settle up. All right, I got my little pieces for five dollars for the pair. You wanna open that up and we'll put it inside. Oh, it opens that way. Okay, we will tuck our little bottle and our little elephant right in there. All right, we're gonna take a peek in here because she like. Oh, there are they concrete chickens? Oh no, they're not. They're made to look like the old concrete chickens, but they aren't old concrete chickens. Watch where you're going. Pigs are really cute. Really cute. All right, loud music. I have to back away from the loud music. No music, no music, no music. What are you finding over there? Stop and thing. Stuff and thing. Oh, you're using the black light. Good girl. She has no idea what she's looking for. We played at the house though a little bit. I bet this one glows. Maybe. This is an older, this looks like EAPG. Let's come under here. No, not so much. Not so much. These look like they might have a little glow to them. Can I? You're too fast. Come on. I can't even focus on it. Closer. Closer. What you're looking for is like around the rim and stuff. Yep. A little bit. Just a little, yeah, ever so slightly. Not a lot. I bet we'll, we'll find something. Doggies. I'm sure there's something here. Doggies. Oh, duckies. I thought you were saying doggies, and I'm like, there's no doggies, those are ducks. Oh, this is old glass. Here, Let's see if that one glows. Yeah, not so much, huh? No? We'll find a piece. We'll find a piece. There's one here somewhere. Starving. You're starving? Me too. Ooh, let's see if this little guy. Yeah, that's not even glass. Is it? No. That's plastic. <laughs> fooled me. It fooled me. How do you know someone's not going to steal the cart? I'm just hoping. I'm hoping nobody's going to steal the cart. It's possible. Anything is possible. That's why we're moving a little bit fast to get back to the cart so we can chase him down. Ooh, looky. Ooh, looky. Oh, he's got a big boo-boo. Darn, this one doesn't though. This little baby bird doesn't have a boo-boo. That's a pretty common piece that we could find at home. And because that's tough to get home, I don't wanna I don't wanna get that one. But it's cool. It is Would this cool. Glow? It might. Check it out. Go down down where you can get out of the light. I don't know what am I looking for. Okay, look at the edges where it's thicker glass, like at the bottom edge, the bottom corner. And you're looking for a yellow glow is what you're looking for. It's not really glowing yellow. It's old glass though, no doubt. It's just not old glowy glass. Cool. All right. See if I can find you a piece that'll glow. She really wants to see a piece that'll glow. Sometimes you can even take a piece. Well, this is not. This is like a, a Mexican glass. Sometimes you can take a colored piece of glass and it will glow also. That's cut. Can you feel? Can you feel how sharp it is even under that plastic? want to deal with it. Nappies are probably the least of the ones that sell. That's cute. A little pin cushion. This is a little salt, I think. A little salt dish. Here, check that one. See that? Check that one already. Go closer. Ah, 
Where'd our shade go? There we go. There we go. Nope, sure isn't. Huh. Striking out. We're striking out. All right. I see a koala. A little koala bear shaker. It's a single. What are you seeing? Oh, she's got that black light and she's like totally on looking for some glass that's going to glow. Because a lot of the old glass has the magnesium or the uranium in it that makes it glow on a black light. So she's on a quest. To find that. I love that she's taking an interest in it. That's very exciting to this mama. Cute little shakers. No luck? Try those little salt shakers right there. Oh, that one glows. Look, see it glowing? There you go. That's old glass. Not so much. Not so much. Oh, Disneyland, the first quarter century. That would encompass my childhood. I actually kind of want this. I'm going to see how much this is. Oh, there's two copies. I wonder what the difference. One's a blue cover and one's a... All right, let's find out. How much are the books? This? That's 10? Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm, I just, I'm not into the brass. But I see a little Tanala kitty. You see the Tanala kitty? Or tell is it Tanala or Talavera? This one. This one. I don't want a cat, Mom. So I think this is the booth I didn't get anything last time because the prices are a little bit more. That's actually he's a really cute. There's some cute ones there. Let's see. Ooh. Let's see how much some of these are. Look at this. Has a mouse on the end of it. How cute is that? Oh, it's like a bracelet? I think. I don't know. Is it? Look at the, I like these little teeny tiny guys. These are probably Hagen Reniker. That's a little chipmunk. A little mouse. Oh, a kitty's got a broken tail. You like that one, huh? Let's find out how much they are. He's cool. I'm gonna the tiniest puzzle. little owl ever. I know. Look at that. Wait, I can't even focus on him. Hold on, hold still. Ooh. Why do you focus? He's so tiny. He's a little rose quartz. There, now maybe it'll focus. Oops. Not on my finger. Oh, a kitty puzzle box. Okay, let's find out. How much are the... Is... This one's 10. And how much are the little figures? I like the little fat birds. Three? Yeah. He's a fat bird. Wait, right, you're holding him up. There we go. He's a fat bird. I like the fat bird. All right. We are not going to be able to buy anything here. A little bit too much for what it is. I bet I can find that book for less than ten dollars online. They have some interesting stuff, but... Ooh. I think that song in the background is not going to get me in trouble. I think that song is allowed. has no copyright. I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? We just watched the movie last night, too. Which was really fun. Okay. Alright, I got music going on all sides of me, so I don't know how much of this I'm going to be able to get, but this looks like 
This actually looks like an old Shirley Temple composition doll. She definitely is in some rough shape, but her body's not in bad condition. It's just like her hair, her wig. The wigs can be replaced, but there's your marks on the back of the head there. She found a she found a briar. Well, look on the inside leg of the horse. Actually, that's one of the glossy briars, and I forget yeah. what there is about them. But those can actually. Why don't you go ask them how much it is? Because they'll give a better price to a kid than to me. Ha ha ha. Go find out how much it is. There's some other ones here too. Wait, look. I don't know. That's not marked. <laughs> then there's some little ones. These are briar. But that one's really scratched up. That one's really scratched up too. Oh, she found a couple other ones. That one's probably. Okay, take that one. I'm pretty sure that one is. That one's pretty scratched up. So go ask how much for those three. I don't think it's that's okay, I think it is. We'll find out, but it's better to do a group and get a group price. All right, she is going to go. She just made her first deal. She made her first deal on some horses. Yay! Stop putting me on camera. Oh, there's a lot of loud music playing over there. Oh, the, I did not expect this to be porcelain. I thought, actually it's not. This is cloisonne. It's a heavy cloisonne. It felt like porcelain. That's how heavy it was. I love the colors in this. That is an etched piece. You are correct. I like this piece of cloisonne. Like where this, oh, this one's pretty heavy too. Some of them you pick up and they're really lightweight. No, oh, this is pretty heavy work here. Oh, look what was sitting right there in front of us. Oh my goodness. That's a little cloisonnate tortoise. Turtle. Whatever. Okay, we gotta ask how much he is, don't we? Alright, set him back down so I can put his shell on. Oh, or he just put his shell on. Alright, we're gonna ask how much he is. See if we can maybe negotiate on these pieces of cloisonne. But first, I'm just gonna peek. A couple of things. This is an old biscuit jar, it looks like, with the, with the lid. Everything animal. She spots everything animal. I can't imagine where she got that from. It's so unusual for our family. <laughs> These Can I go say, ask how much he is? Oh, well, I want to know how much all the cloisonne are. It says Dumani, Dumont, Dumont, France, Limoges. Those are sweet little, sweet little set right there. This one is a, this a $30, this a 20 this a 10 He's 10 yeah. And how much for the little dishes? The guys sell it at the liquor store right there. $10 each. That's why I yeah. This is so one. Sure. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're going to get him. We're going to get him. We have to. It's for us. So she wanted 30 for the large blue one and 20 for the other one and then 10 for the turtle. So we got the turtle because it's for us and not for retail. I'll probably do a little research on cloisonne. I haven't done it for a while, so we'll see if that cloisonne would have been worth the price. We got stuff from here before, so let's see what new stuff. Oh, they're, they're little railroad trees, but they're metal. Cool. Ooh. Looks like an old candle snuffer. That looks like a piece of Fenton, actually. Is it? Oh no, that's that fake goofus glass stuff, modern goofus glass. It fools me every time. That's kind of a, look at that lamp. It's very interesting. Oh, uh, let's see. Hmm. Little glass beads. 
You tell me. Pressed. Is it pressed? It's pressed. Good girl. I think it's kind of cool, huh? Carved wood. It's kind of neat. Yes, more composition dolls. Ooh, that's an ostrich egg. It's not a very big one. Sometimes these are like wait this might even be an emu egg and not an ostrich egg because the ostrich eggs are usually really big and really thick that one's not as thick as i'm used to like this is ostrich egg size this one put that one next to it just to show the don't drop it yeah see i think that might be emu and not ostrich oh it's in here oh i don't even know what that is from an emu i'm just saying she asked, where do you get an ebu egg? I mean, I gave her the logical answer, right? Eggs the day go by. Hand painted. They're chickens. They don't just lay eggs. Well, they're birds and they lay eggs. But don't wild birds lay eggs when they're having babies? Yes, but emus are farmed. Oh, are they? They're little turtles. Oh no. Mom. I don't know what we would do with them. Mom. But they are awful cute. Mom. Depends how much they are. Mother. It depends how much they are. Looks like there might be some interesting stuff here. What is this? Outdoor bark control. Oh, okay. Not what I thought it was. I'm getting tired. I'm about. I'm about wiped out. We've been doing this for a while now. It's kind of an old, cute piece. Ah, oh, let's see. It just felt really good to crouch down there for a minute. <laughs> I've been walking quite a while. I don't know what that says on it. Made in Hong Kong. Was this, I wonder if this was on one of those pencil sharpeners. Looks like it might have been. Prague. I thought that horse was Briar's and it's not. No, she thought she saw a Briar's horse, but it was not. Can we see anything else here? Briar's doesn't cave in. That's exciting. Yeah. Horseshoes. There's these. Those are not exciting. Not to me anyway. Just not to me. I did just ignore the horseshoes. I did. All right. Are you putzing out on me? What? Are you putzing out on me? No. Is she getting tired? Yeah. She just wants to sit. Ah, uh, she says, stop filming me. We are here tomorrow. Last day before Christmas, the Kobe's will be open. Kobe's office will be open for reservations Thursday, 10 to 2, and they were closed. It's on nice Thursday to get her to finally be doing the cart. She ditched us, and this is what she has Sunday. to do now. What's in that bag that's going to fall off of there? That's her old shoe bag. Oh, okay. This is it. Now she gets to pull the cart because she ditched us. Now when it's fully loaded, <laughs> Rachel's very happy about this. Rachel's very happy about this, but we didn't have to park as far away this time, so it's not really fair. She didn't really get her, her consequence, but it's all good.
we wrapped up another successful trip to the Kobe swap meet. Actually, it wasn't as good as last time. Did not find nearly as much cool stuff, but everything I got was little, which is good. So I can still get all my stuff home that's left over from the last time I was here. Okay, potholes, <laughs> bumpy. Um, so yeah, that wraps up the San Diego swap meet trip. So with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one.